toys. I got several, but I just love this one the best. <sighs> Forgot to warm it up first before I started this. Dang. Well, um, so yesterday I went through and did my first vlog and got that. I completed my goal of filming in the morning, editing, and then posting it by the nighttime. And so episode one is up. This will be episode two. And I'm really excited about it. Really glad it's up. I think it'll just teach me a lot about filmmaking and talking in front of the camera and having a deadline, actually keeping f the flow of my videos going. Um, And super good so there's always that I'm gonna walk you through my shave routine because I do have to shave today you might have noticed it yesterday it's getting a little scruffy let's get to it today I'm gonna to be using Katie's bubbles purple grapefruit it's one I really like when I'm shaping in the morning I use this one just the grapefruit is such a citrusy way to wake up and there's some lavender in there this is my razor I was talking about, Edwin Jagger Double Edge Safety Razor. I'll post the link down below, um, but it's still as good, almost identical to when I bought it. The chrome, it's a chrome-plated steel, and so it's a solid piece of metal. And that chrome hasn't tarnished, hasn't chipped in the slightest. It was the greatest 30 bucks I ever spent. So I thought when I first bought it, 30 bucks for a razor seems like a lot, but for a solid piece of metal like this that hasn't tarnished in six years now, but the five or six years of solid razor use is pretty amazing. And the blades inside are about five cents each because it's just a, a single blade instead of a cartridge that can cost you. But for five cents per blade, that's such an amazing deal. And I love it. And so I'm gonna show you the process. Let's get to it get out my brush. I use a synthetic brush. I've used a lot of different brushes from Badger to Boar to uh, I think I had a horse brush once. I didn't really like that one as much. The Boar hair brushes those break in really well after use for a while. Um, Badgers start off amazing but this synthetic one it's a new synthetic actually tapered towards the end so well that it feels like a badger. I don't think it's broken in like another brush has because each bristle is pretty much the same as when I bought it, unlike a natural hairbrush that will break in more. And I rotate through my brushes, but just currently right now I'm on a kick with this synthetic one, so I'm gonna use this one today. But first thing I do is I soak it. I just soak it in hot water. So it's not as important as with a natural hairbrush, but with synthetic you still want it wet, really wet before we lather it up. I'm gonna soak it while I jump in the shower real quick. That loosens your face up. A nice warm shower loosens your face to shave real quick. So I'm gonna do that real quick. take the soap and soaking in water, the brush, flick out some of that water, rub it around in there. That. This is just a little wet, a little dry today. I haven't used this soap in a while, so definitely think that's part of it. So then once you get that nice full lather, you start doing circles on your face. I typically start on my neck because it's a large area. But they're still building the lather right now. Once it gets nice and full, you can just start painting it on everywhere else. And go with and against the grain. Because you're trying to get each little hair on your face fully coated in soap. Handy dandy razor. This one, since it's just a morning pass, if it was a date, I'd get a full three pass once with the grain, once against the grain, and then a quick one up. A 
just want to keep it nice and light. There's no pressure applied. You just let the weight of the razor sit against your skin. And this, I do need to change the blade, but... Next time. And like I said, it's just for work, so... So it's not as important to... No one's gonna be as close to my face as on a date. The girlfriend's gonna be a little closer. people are going to be at work. So in the neck area, my hair grows up on the neck. That's something that's important for you to learn about yourself. Is how your hair is growing. Always wet your face again before you reapply a second round of foam. This one's not as thick as the first one, but the hair's already, the main hair is knocked off. So I'm going across the grain. Most important thing to learn with the safety razor is light. Keep it light, always. And then other than that, it's pretty safe. Like, try to keep your skin tight by moving it and stretching it. Yeah, my neck got a little irritated from that. Since the blade's not super sharp, it's just gonna do that. When you wash out the brush, similar to a paintbrush, you just rub it around on there. I usually rub it against my hand, like I'm painting it on my hand, and that just gets it all out. <coughs> Done. Leave it to dry. The soap. I get off some of that excess foam that's all around. Then that one I'll leave out for about a day. Tonight when I get home, I'll put a, I'll cap it up again because it just doesn't need to be out. But then, so when you're wetting your face the first time, make it warm, hot water. But then afterwards, you do cold water. And it's winter, so this cold water is really cold. Ooh, clean, shaven. Neck is a little messed up, but the blade wasn't sharp. So that's why. Um, but I also use this. It's a witch hazel lotion, so it's got witch hazel and moisturizers and stuff. It's not like a typical aftershave, an alcohol-based aftershave that will burn. And those just dry out my skin even more, which I have naturally dry skin, so I really need something like this lotion with the witch hazel, which makes it really slick and keeps it moist, which is important to prevent razor burn as much as possible. For me personally, this is what works with my skin the most. Other people love the alcohol-based aftershave, and it is what it is. It's whatever works for you personally, but this is just what works for me. So, 
Stick with it. Mm.